I got a hair in my eyelash. That's what I get for having fuzzy hair. Yeah. Huh. Hi, y'all. How y'all doing today? I hope everybody's staying safe and healthy, right? Yep. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? No. <laughs> today, I am going to do a follow-up to my DIY Easy Knit Ear Savers. Link it up there. I know y'all, you know, a bunch of y'all like that. I've got new subscribers from there. Thank you for subscribing. Today, today, we're going to crochet one. Y'all join me. These are super easy. Let's go make them. Okay. Today, we are going to crochet an ear saver for your face mask. This is the knit one that I did. And I will link it up here if you'd rather knit one. This is my new one that I've crocheted now that I've learned how to crochet. So, super simple. Follow along with me if you would like. I have the pattern down below in the description if you just want to read the pattern, if you know how to do this. So simple. So, you are going to need for this project a yarn. I have no idea. This is, I guess, a medium weight. I don't know. You'll need a crochet hook. I'm using my five millimeter. You'll need a darning needle to weave in the ends. You are going to need needle and thread to sew on your buttons that you will also need. What is that? And of course, a pair of scissors for cutting and whatnot. So, let's make a crocheted ear saver. Move this out of the way. Now, we are going to start. Oh, and again, the, I just, this is the second time recording this because the cat and the dogs were bothering me. Now we got a, now I got a cat in my, <clears throat> okay. We are going to start getting everything out of my way. And we are going to start with, whoops, a slip knot, like so. Hey, I hope you're not messing up my mic, little thing. Stuart, yes, Stuart. Don't say hi to Stuart. She's in my lap. She wants to play with me. She's been asleep until I decided to start recording. Okay, we are going to, you got your slip knot, we're going to chain 15. One. Two, three, four, and fifteen. Now I have a kitten climbing on my back. Okay, next. We are going to single crochet, starting with this. Okay, if you can see this. Oh, let me see if I can get my light up a little more here. We're, ignore the kitten. We're going to single crochet, starting in this second chain from the end. And crochet, single crochet, 14 times into the chain. <laughs> We have just made Stuart, son of a mother. <laughs> Give here, you little booger. <laughs> Go away. <sighs> Where was I? Okay, we're single crocheting just all the way across. Stuart, if you are messing with my mic cord and making weird sounds, I am going to be very unhappy with you, you little booger. Okay. Okay, we're going to ignore Stuart and hope she doesn't try to eat my buttons. We can get to the end. Stuart, leave my buttons alone. Stuart, Stuart. Oh my god. <laughs> we get to the end. Whoops, my slip knot just went crazy. I'm going to tighten that back up. Stuart, go ahead. Leave my buttons alone. No, no. No, okay, seriously. <laughs> oh, okay. We chain 15. 
we have, oh, Stuart, come on. We have chain 15. We have single crocheted back, starting from the second from the end, 14 times. We are gonna turn our work, chain one, and then single crochet back across 14 times. And 14. Get to the end again. Turn your work. Chain one. Ooh, that one's pretty loose. Is that going in here? No. And chain, single crochet, whoops. 14 again. Now just do this back and forth back and forth until you have it as wide as you'd like i did a uh, four rows all together so i just did three times across was that 14 i don't know but that's okay these are for me yeah that was 14. okay get to the end that's as wide as I'm gonna make this one. You can make it wider. Just continue doing those rows. Just a single crochet back and forth until you're until you're done. Now I'm going to. Is this called binding off and crocheting? That tells you how new I am to crocheting terminology. Just pull that through, tighten it up. You know what? I think I did one more row on my other one. Yeah, I did, but that's okay. Do as many rows as you'd like. There you go. Then weave in your ends. Oh, the kitten's climbing my back again. And sew on your buttons with your needle and thread. And there you have it. A simple DIY, easy crocheted ear saver. So there you go. Go make you a bunch of them because we need to still be wearing our masks. We need to keep social distancing, washing your hands, all that good stuff. Come on, Texas, lower that curve. So, make you some, give them out to people. You know, they're, they're functional. They don't have to be pretty. Make a bunch of them. There is a pattern right down below in the description. While you're down there, subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified when I upload again. I never know when I upload, but I do upload once a week. So ring the bell so you get notified when I do. Y'all be safe and healthy. Don't forget to keep washing your hands, social distancing six feet apart. Wear your mask. Come on, people, just, just wear your mask. Y'all be safe and I will see y'all next time. <laughs>